Yo, what's up guys? It's BP Gaming here, and in today's video, I'll be giving you guys a guide on how to kill Ober, the free-to-play hill giant boss, as well as some possible loot that you may receive from him. But before we get into this, I just want to say make sure you watch to the end of the video because I have a big announcement I'm very excited to share with you guys. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, so getting there, he's in the Edgeville dungeon, kind of near the GE, where the rest of the hill giants are. So just go down this ladder here, and he's in the southeast, sorry, the southwest corner, just the bottom left. And he's just through this gate that you will need your giant key to get through with. And just in my inventory, I have a full inventory of swordfish. You could use lobster or something, another high-level fish. But then you're just going to need some emergency teleport runes in case you are about to die and out of food. So 25 magic or higher is pretty important. Brass key to get in the dungeon and just a strength potion. And what I'm wearing, just some full rune, amulet of power, and a rune scimitar. And in the NPC attack options in your settings here switch it to left click where available this allows you to click him right away after eating or something instead of just immediately like right clicking over and over again and then just prayer i just use rock skin because he does know whether you're using protect from melee or protect from magic and will use the opposite attack so once you're in his lair just drink your strength potion and switch on your prayer before going in and he does have a special mage attack as you enter the arena so watch out for that so we're just going to go in and attack and he does hit hard he can hit up to 26 with his magic attack which is when he stomps and his melee attack is just when he punches with his club like that which he can hit a 22 with. So never let your health fall below a 26. And you can see how he's knocking me down here. Try to be up against a wall because he can't fly you across the arena. I'll show you in a later clip here where he actually punches me across the arena. So you always want to be against a wall. And you can see he does hit pretty high. So make sure you are paying attention and you are eating a lot. So here's one drop, 79 nature runes. That's pretty good. It's worth probably around 15k or so, something around there. So that's pretty good. And then you can just climb right back up these stairs and you're out. Another drop I got was a rune kite. That's 32k. So that is another great drop there. 72 law runes and another giant key for another round. So that is a great drop. Basically just free law runes. And another kill we got, we got 67 Cosmic Runes. It's one of the worst drops you can get, and it's still like 8 or 9k, so not bad there. And here is the clip where he actually knocks me all the way across the room. So when he does that, you have to run all the way back to him, so that's why you want to be right by a wall. And you just saw he just hit a 23 on me. He can hit up to a 26, so never let your health drop below 26 very important but other than that it's pretty easy just keep on clicking just keep eating when necessary and keep attacking i'm only level 60 on all my combat stats and i easily beat him six times so pretty easy you pretty much just want to monitor your food and pay attention to your health and make sure you are eating at the right time so that you don't die but here's our final drop rune plate legs that's a great drop that's like 37k right there or this is also a great way for iron men to get high level armor here is our loot and our cost so we use two strength potions 143 each and i bought 50 swordfish 285 each so total that's around 14 and a half k of costs but here's what we got in six kills we got rune plate legs rune kite some law runes two drops of cosmic runes all the big bones and some nature and so that's 114k take away our cost that's 100k profit so after selling all of it it came out to 114k as predicted so that is pretty good from just six kills but um yeah that's about it 
he's not too hard of a boss just make sure you got some good armor some good food strength potions and all that good stuff make sure you watch out for his special attack never let your health get below 26 stay up near the walls and just eat and attack it's pretty simple pretty easy and you guys get a lot of good high level drops so i hope you guys enjoyed the video that is about it for me other than the announcement i had which is to my first 100 subscribers i will pick one subscriber and i will be giving away a bond so one lucky winner to our first 100 subscribers so if you haven't already done that yet make sure you subscribe to the channel to see if you can get lucky and also share around with your friends if you liked the video please hit that thumbs up and also leave a comment with any questions or concerns i do read every comment posted so yeah that just about does it here for me but until next time peace out guys